Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Chipmast here and today we're gonna be taking a look at my top 5 picks for Cydia Tweaks for iOS 7. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first tweak I'm gonna talk about is Barrel. Now Barrel is a not a new tweak. It has been there for a long time. It was on iOS 5, it was on iOS 6, it was it's on iOS 7 as well. So uh, it's a really simple tweak as you can see. Uh, all you need to do is go ahead and enable it and you'll find a lot of options uh, on how you wanna scroll your icons through. So I can select one of those options right here. I can select uh, Curl and Roll Away and once I'm in the menu I don't even need to restart it and as you can see it's gonna curl and roll away so this is how my icons gonna change and uh, I can go ahead and click on page fade and it's gonna go ahead and fade my page and scroll through it and there are plenty of options I usually keep on random so I can go ahead and have a different thing every time it's gonna scroll through so as you can see I'm, I have a different effect each time I scroll through the icons second tweak I'm going to take a look at is dock shift. Now if you're using iOS 7 you probably have noticed that the dock remains the same and it's kind of not translucent at all and if you want to go ahead and change that now you can do so with using this option. Now this is a free CDI tweak you can go ahead and download it from the link down below and uh, it's really simple to do so. Uh, once you have installed uh, go ahead and enable it go to style and as you can see you have a lot of options to select from. So right now I have it as dark milk a bit less opaque I can go ahead and make it uh, milk glass and clear and as you can see it's gonna go ahead and turn to milk glass colored theme and clear so this is a uh, pretty simple you can go ahead and select uh, blurried as well so you can see uh, it's gonna go ahead and become more bloodied and so on so this is a pretty simple and sleek trick that if you want to use for iOS 7 you can go ahead and do so third week I'm going to talk about is flux now uh, as you can see this is a different kind of tweak. Um, this is usually used to control the backlight of your iPhone. Now, if you have used your iPhone at night while sleeping, you know, a text comes in, you want to reply to the text, but as you unlock the screen, the screen is so bright that it burns your eyes out. Now, you can go ahead and select the lightning. So, I can go ahead at night, or you can, you know, I can go ahead and select daytime, and as you can see, it's gonna change the color of white on my iPhone. So I can go ahead and select fluorescent. It's gonna make my screen a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it definitely makes a difference. The fourth tweak I'm gonna take a look at is called no slow animations. Now this is by far my most favorite tweak for iOS 7, hands down. Period. Because this removes all the animations from iOS 7 all together. So if you are if you don't like the animations in your folder let's say like this if you don't like your folder showing up or you know anything uh, you can reduce the motion and turn it a little bit less but this removes it completely. So if I go ahead and click on a folder it's gonna open instantaneously. It's not gonna take that stupid time to load up the animation. It's not gonna go through that transition. It's gonna load up clear and square. So if I'm going to multitasking I can just go ahead and go through everything right there. So this is by far the most easy to use, must needed application or tweak for iOS 7. So the fourth and the last tweak I'm gonna take a look at is called Zeppelin. Now, most of you have probably heard about this application and all this does is just change the carrier logo. So as you can see, if you have a lot of themes here, you can go ahead and select one of those. I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, Cloud and I can go ahead and click on Enable here and as you can see the at and logo just changed to the cloud logo so this is a really simple tweak I usually don't use this but in case if you want to this is a pretty sleek tweak and uh, pretty simple to install as well so I'll have all the names of the tweaks uh, down below if you have any other tweaks that uh, you think are awesome and I haven't mentioned in the video go ahead and write them down in the comments down below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below and click on the thumbs up video that really helped me out a lot other than that, thanks for watching guys and if you like my videos, go share them on Facebook and Twitter and Google+. Other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.